Hello everyone, hello, Cesare here with more of The Last of Us. We ended up here in uh, the Ski Lodge from the beginning of the game, except it's three years in the past. Uh, Ellie and Joel are going to go and get some guitar string. So this is just like a memory she has with him. Night, hello! We're just starting uh, up today. How you doing? So yeah, we're, we're three years in the past. The memory she has. Okay, let's go. All right. We uh we just found Jesse in the. Uh... So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Two runners in a house. Me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrol. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Well, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've... if you think you're ready, I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Yeah, um... Are those, uh... Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Well, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match... Woo. Yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. But, um, yeah, no, uh, last night I watched the Game Awards, which were basically just The Last of Us 2 rewards. Um, but... Music stores up that way. You have to leave the horses here. Yeah. Sounds good. But uh, you know, I watched that. I uh, I have work. Uh, I got uh, Final Fantasy D and D this weekend. I got a bunch of work done on that. The music store. Yeah, I see it. Got some stuff done for my raid group. Exciting time. You need a boost? I got it. Uh, I don't think we can go this way. What? Well, damn. Used to be able to swim across this. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. Yeah, we get to cut through the hotel. What did you guys get up to this week? How was your Thursday? Oh, I had a swarm yesterday. That was good. Damn it. Oh, that might be something. You think you can fit in there? Well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Careful now. Yep. Played some Destiny 2 last night with a friend. Man. I kind of, kind of wanted to give Destiny to another go. I might pick it up for a console though, because playing it on my PC, I can't stream it because for some reason it won't capture. So if I ever wanted to stream my playing of it, uh, I can't. Looks great on PS5. I might get it for PS5 then. Looking. Special cola. Those machines are all over the place in this. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? Nope. You're just too skinny. Need to eat more. You're welcome. <laughs> Have you uh, done the uh, newest... Uh... Patch or expansion for the game, uh, Beyond Light, I think it's called. Is that it? Yep. 
Yeah, a friend of mine was uh, playing it, and he, he, he was really happy with it. Um... This place is giving me the creeps. I think I see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. <laughs> Did we try the raid yet? Do you, uh... Does, how many raids does Destiny 2 have? Some are kind of boring. Yeah, not all of them are going to be winning. got to be smart about this. You start wearing that mask, kiddo, and eventually you're going to slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody, do, have you? Not Jesse or Dina. Of course not. Okay, good. It took some out? That's unusual. Usually games don't in here before? take out raids. Uh, you just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. Yeah, uh, like FF14, um, it has a crossover with uh, Monster Hunter that's actually still in the game. Uh, they didn't remove it after the, the, the patch was done, so that's a little surprising to hear that they took content out. Is there a reason they did that? I should do an uh, alert everything run and see if I can uh, see if I can get through the game, fighting everything. It's getting too hard to patch the game. That's weird. I mean, World of Warcraft and uh, other MMOs uh, have way more content, and they don't really have it that complaint. But it is a shooter, so like a completely different style. So maybe that has something to do with it. Ruby, I'm sorry if our patrol overwhelmed you yesterday. We don't run into new people too often. I understand why you might have been nervous to follow us to Jackson, but it really is a nice place. Got electricity, good crops, could be something special for you and your family. My boys are different people here. Poor Jackson, we were so focused on just staying alive, I didn't like who they were becoming. Started acting like the people we were running away from. These days, they're on roofs, fixing holes, digging trenches, hard work. But they've come, they come home every night excited about building up this place. They've got community, a reason to be accountable. You used to be a teacher. You could have a classroom of kids hungry for knowledge. This isn't a fantasy. Please, consider just stopping by. Let me show you around. There. Dudes, hello! So they say. I mean, I don't understand why. Like I said, bigger games have no problems. Well, I can't say they have no problems, but they have no publicly listed problems. Uh, patching just because of size. Looks like it was shot a while back. When did the last patrol go through here? I'm not sure. Is it one of us? Nah. Only people went missing from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. This one's too old. I would just roamed in. Uh, that's true, but graphics shouldn't really play into that. Even content sizes, anyway. I don't know, it just seems a little odd that they would take content away versus keeping it in. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm just making making conversation. As this is the first I've ever heard of someone doing something like this. You getting it? That's nothing wrong with it. It's a pretty decent game, right? The important thing is that you enjoy playing it. If you didn't enjoy playing it, I'd be like, yeah, get out of there as fast as you can.
This way. Filler game? Yeah, that's that's a good filler game, I think. Yeah. Need to have one. Sorry, Joel got me in there. Yeah, they can't see Joel, because otherwise, uh, unfortunately, the computer does not make the best of choices all the time. I mean, obviously, I don't make the best choices either, but this way you don't have to worry about your, your escort fucking you over. Which is a smart thing. He also doesn't really attack unless you attack something first. So it's not super broken in that regard. Otherwise, you could just stand around and wait for him to go around murdering everything. It would actually be pretty cool in a way. Oh, he, got all, he put his leg up on the chair. Did you see that? Got him! Nate, do you have a game that you go back to and play every now and then? Whenever you feel like, uh... Not feel like... Feel, uh, not like anything else, but... I think we did it. I think my, uh... I think my filler game is, uh... You too. Right now it's Hyrule Warriors. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Moose. Bison. I 
anything else over here, but we'll take a quick pass around just to be sure. Bam. Manager on duty. Check in 3 p.m. Check out by 12 p.m. Looks like it might be something. Following you. My dad, Deuce, he um he used to play Dragon Quest Eleven, uh, Dragon Quest Eight all the time. Play quite a few games. That's good. You have one that you go back to all the time. I just got punched by this fucking thing. I think this is stronger than your average bloater, because usually they die after... Oh shit, I thought I was dead there. Yeah, that battle there, dudes, that's called a bloater. Uh, they're like super late stage infections that can evolve into this stage. I don't think they all do. I think some of them dead are just... Sure. But we fucking did it. <laughs> we sure did. So, you know what I'm actually curious about? Being really old, ain't nothing solid, not a sleep won't shake off. I want to get out of here. You know what I actually wonder about in this world? So, you know how um, different uh, people, for whatever reason, their infection extends different areas? Like, some of them become those uh, new enemies we got, the, uh, the shamblers. What are you doing? And some of them become the. Uh, what if there's like two bloaters back there? It'll be fine. The stalkers. What if, um, or bloaters? Ah, uh, what if they change that way because of some condition within the human body? So let's say. Quite the fight back there, huh? Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. If someone uh, has. Cancer. And Dina are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's deal with them too, anyway. The date, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. Not so keen with this one. Let's see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Not so keen. Yeah, I I'm curious, uh, do, do those affect the cordyceps different? Like, do, do these infected uh, die randomly? Um, I don't know about randomly, they probably live out their life to a certain point and then die. Because if you know, some of them kind of just grow into the wall, a la, like, um, the fuck's his name, uh, Davy Jones Locker's crew there, they eventually just grew into the side of the ship. Um... 
And I think eventually they probably do die when their host dies. Because eventually the host either deteriorates or becomes a bloater. Or shambler. It only makes sense, because in real life, uh, eventually their host dies. Right? So my guess is, is they kind of go towards the wall, and then they merge into the wall, and then the host dies, but the fungus lives on. Because... The mushroom. Well, not a mushroom, but a fungus. Hello, Windrig. You just missed us get pulled out of a wall by a bloater. That is bison. You should get a pet mouse, Windrig. Oh, look, it's a tie out. Uh oh. You think you can squeeze through there? what it is? Yeah. Okay. Joel. Huh? I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Looks like one of them didn't live up to that. In Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Jesus. Only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's... Let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital... You said there were dozens of people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured uh, something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't.
And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? No. Good. Come on. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think you should bring that clicker body back. Just saying. Hmm. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. Did your blades actually hooked like that so that you can tell? He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? Wasn't the right time. There you go. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Um, uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora. Her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jesse to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Hollow lips. All right. Right. If I follow Route Five, that should take me to the hospital. <laughs> 